I know, Mr. I haven't seen you in so I long. Missed you. So oh, oh, hey guys! <gasps> the kids are here. Oh the my kids. goodness! <laughs> it's been so long. I'm so excited y'all are here. Look who's helping me today. It's me, Frilly. She's. I have to tell you, boys and girls, she's like the smartest preschooler <gasps> in the history of all preschoolers. Miss Sue, saying, you are too kind. Oh, it's true though, Frilly. Seriously. Oh, girl. And may I say, Frilly, you're looking fabulous today. <gasps> Thank you so much. We have a very exciting, exciting Bible story today. Yeah. But before we do that, boys and girls, would you like to pray with us? Hey, Fro. Yeah. Would you like to pray? Oh my goodness, I would love to pray. Okay, boys and girls, you know what to do. We're gonna fold our hands. We're gonna bow our heads. We're gonna talk to Jesus. Go ahead, Fro. Dear Lord, I just want to thank you so much for everything that you give us and how you provide for us. Mm -hmm. Help us to really remember what this story is all about and how you take care of us and love us so much. We love you, Lord, and I pray that these boys and girls will know and remember you mm -hmm. all the days of their lives. Amen. Amen. Frilly, yes. I'm going to tell you a story about a woman from the Bible story in 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. Ooh. So it's second. Put a crown on your head. Kings. King. Chapter 4, mm -hmm. 1 through 7. Yep, yep. Well, this is about the prophet named Elisha. So Elisha was visiting people in his area Ooh. and he was talking to this widow woman hmm. do you remember what a widow is yes yes i do i know what a widow is a widow is someone whose husband has died that's right it's very sad mm -hmm. well this this really wonderful widow woman had she had two sons Ooh. and she didn't have any money oh no and she owed this really mean, mean man, Ooh. some money. That's not good. No. And he said to her, listen, lady, <laughs> if you don't give me that money, I'm going to make your little boys go to work for me. Oh no. For a very, very long time. Whoa, but they were so little. I know. That's so mean. It is mean. And she didn't have any money. What did she do? Well, she told the prophet Elisha what was happening. And he said, we need to trust God. And they had a plan. Ooh. Hmm. I wonder what their plan might be. Well, I, I know it's something about some, uh, some oil, right? Yeah, she had a little bit of oil. And she needed to have a lot of oil so that she could sell it. Hmm. But she only had a little bit. Hmm. Perhaps she could have gone to Trader Joe's and bought some. Um, what? There's no Trader Joe's. Oh, that's true. That's true. Oh, wait. I have one. What? what? She, she could have gone and gotten a lot of oils and then just, like, mushed them up to make olive oil. Yeah, but... Where would she have gotten it from? Oh, uh, you're right. She had no money. That's true. Perhaps she could have, I don't know, maybe picked a bunch of olives off a tree and then oh. made it homemade. But she'd have to have an olive tree. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. She could well, oh. plant. Go, go ahead. Could she have hunted for olives? Oh. oh. Like with a bow and arrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and spears and, no, you know, getting no, in and... No, because olives, you know, they grow on trees and they're oh. not animals and they don't oh, have man. legs. So that wouldn't have worked. Okay, either. that didn't so work. So no Sorry. bows, no arrows. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's see. Frilly, are you ready for this? Okay, yes, tell me. The prophet Elisha said to the woman, what is that you have in that jar? Mm. Look at this, bro. Yeah. Well, she said, I just have a little bit of oil. Uh -huh. He said... Go to all of you, your neighbors, all of your friends, and ask them for a jar of oil. Oh, a oil. Oil. Yeah, what do you think about that? Well, oil's pretty expensive. Yes, it is. That's pretty hard to ask somebody yeah. about. Yeah, but you know what? She trusted God, and she went and asked for oil. Ooh. And you know what happened? What happened? 
Are you ready to watch this? this is okay. Kind of crazy. Okay. All okay. Right. So she knocked at the first house. Yeah. Excuse me. Come in. I owe some money. Do you have any oil? Um. Yeah. I guess I got a little bit. Okay. Here's here's some a little bit. Thank you. Because I gotta keep some too. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Come in. Hello. I'm the Shumanite widow. I have no money. Oh no. I need oil. Do you have any? Oh, of course. You can have all of it. Oh, you're the best. Pardon me, ma'am. Um, yes, can I'm I help sorry, you? I forgot to knock on your door. <laughs> it's okay, I was tending to my garden. I was oh, already outside. It's so nice to see you. Hey, do you have any oil? I need it to pay this really mean, mean man that I owe <gasps> money to. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, you can have some. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, that's a big bucket. You're very kind. Oh. Yes, come in. Hello, ma'am. I need some oil. By chance, do you have any? I can give you a little bit. I'll take a little bit. Hey, a little bit's better than none at all. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. And one house? Okay, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going, Miss Sue. More? More, okay. more. Okay. Oh. Keep on going, keep on going. That's right, that nice woman, she's got she got so many more and more and more and the oil kept coming and coming and coming so and then she said she said give me another container okay and do you know what her son said oh that was a leaker <laughs> what her son said there are no more there's no more containers wow you filled up all the containers with the oil and then it was full of oil yeah and the prophet elisha said Take this oil and sell it. With the money you receive from the sale of the oils, pay the man you owe money to. <gasps> you and your sons will be safe. Isn't God great? He's so good! And she trusted him. Yeah! Now, Frilly, what do you think our boys and girls can trust God with this week? Oh my goodness, so many things. Yeah, like what? Like, you know, sometimes if I don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. and I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm not scared, but I just don't know. And, Maybe a little and nervous. I'm a little nervous. That's yeah. a good word yeah. for it. I'm nervous. Uh -huh. But I can know that God is going to help me through That's right. anything. That's right. So if I don't know about maybe i'm i'm new somewhere and i don't know anybody mm -hmm. i know that god will help me amen he sure will whether whether you're new in town or you have to move to a new place <laughs> maybe you are out in your backyard playing and your mommy says come on in and we're having asparagus with our dinner and Ew. you oh exactly you've never had asparagus and you're nervous about it is that something we could talk to god about i think so and you know what it's always good to try new things it is no matter whether it's our lunch or meeting new people or going any going to a new place we can trust god he's always there he is and he's always going to help us he is because he is faithful the Shumanite widow trusted God. I can trust God. Do you trust God? Oh, yeah. Boys and girls, do you trust God? Because he's with you and he loves you so much. Hey, Frel, do you want to come back next week and teach with me? Oh, my goodness. I have missed this so much. I want to do it all the time now. Oh, that's fantastic. And you know what, Frel? What? We need to have you back with handsome Henry. Uh, I know. I miss my Henry man. Oh, he loves you. All right, boys and girls. We'll see you soon, Creek Kids. We love you. Bye. Bye, -bye friends. Love you.